Welcome back, my learners. It's me, your friend, Viola Nakanjako, P4 English. You remember, we are still talking about nouns, and we said, what is a noun? Yeah, I can say I have my good friends who remember what a noun is. Yes, we said a noun is a naming word. We looked at examples, and then we came to common nouns. We said... Common nouns are names of general things, people, and places. And we looked at examples. And then we looked at, the, we said that common nouns are made in plural and then singular. We looked at very many of them, of which I will not go back. For those people who are following, I know you, you followed and you got to know how each noun changed. Now, still today, we are looking at the compound nouns. But compound nouns are still common nouns. Yeah, so we say they are still common nouns, but we call them compound. Why? This is the reason. We say these are nouns made up of more than one word. Compound nouns are made up of more than one word. That means two and then three and more. Those are what we call compound nouns. And these compound nouns are in two categories. We have compound nouns of two words. Compound nouns of two words. Yeah, when we're making compound nouns of two words in a plural, in most cases, we put the last noun plural, or we make the last noun plural. How do we form compound nouns? I can say, they're made up of two nouns. It can be two nouns or can be two words. For example, when I say black board, that means there is a black color and then there is a board. When you join them together, that's when you're going to get a black board. Now, when we're making a black board plural, black is not a noun. Black is an adjective. Now the noun is board. What are we going to do? We are going to say black boards. Now, when you join black and board, it becomes one noun and it will be black boards. Yeah, it is very interesting to form compound nouns. Now we have arm, then chair. Most of you, your daddies have arm chairs. This is the chair, but you, you press the hand this side and then you raise the hand this side. That is what you call the arm chair. So when you're making it, it is going to be arm chairs. Then we come to post office. Yeah, post is a verb. Yes, then office is a place. Now when you join it together, it becomes a compound noun. It will be post office, a place where we go to post our letters, our telegrams and others. So here we shall say, when we join the two, we make a post office, then in the plural it will be post offices. You see that we are making the last noun plural. Then when we come here, tooth, then brush. You get a teeth, then a brush. Tooth, brush. When we come to it, plural we shall say, tooth, brushes. Now, remember we said, those nouns that end with sound sh, sound sh, we are going to add e s. Now, when you come to tooth brush, sh, then we say toothbrushes. Then and others goalpost. It will come for goalposts, bedroom for bedrooms, mouse trap. Here, mouse trap. We are making the last noun plural. I don't expect someone to make the first noun plural. We are making the last noun plural. So it will come to mouse traps. Then classroom, classrooms. Then girl guides. You know girl guides? Yes. Then it comes for girl guides. Now, we are saying compound nouns of two words. We are making the last noun plural. But we have exceptions for example passer by when you say passer 
Now this is a noun. But by is not a noun. What is going to happen to this one here now? Since passer is not a noun, since, pass, since by is not a noun, now we are going to make the last noun plural. And it's going to be passers by. Then here, man servant. Man servant. This one is also very interesting. Man servant. Man then servant. Here what happens? We make both of them plural. That's why we said there are exceptions. Here we make the last noun, it is usual. But when we come here, we are making both nouns plural. We are going to say men, then servants. Another one here, it will be woman, servant. Where we are going to say women, then servants. Women, servants. We make both of them plural. Good. Now, we have compound nouns of three words. Remember we said a compound noun is made up of one, of more than one word. Now, we look at the compound nouns of three words. Of three words, what will happen? We are going to make the first noun plural. Here, when we are talking about the two words, we said we are making the last noun plural. But now, we come to the those ones of three words, there are very many. Here, when I list, I list just some of them. But there are very many. For example, we have sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. What will happen? This, this law is not a noun. Here, we are, we are having in. That means we are making sister plural. So, you are going to say sisters-in-law. Sisters-in-law. We come to head of state. state. Each state is one. So when they join, each head is leading one state. Each head is leading one state. So what are we going to say? We are going to say heads. Heads of state. Heads here, as I've put here, we're going to say heads of state. Each head is leading one state. When you make both of them plural, it means the heads, they are leading very many states. But remember, each head is leading one state. So you're going to say heads of state. To mean they are heads, but each head is leading one state. Then we have prefect on duty. Yeah, prefect on duty. Duty is not an, a, a noun. Then on is not a noun. We have remained with one noun, and that is the prefect. What will happen? It will be prefects on duty. Prefects on duty. It is the same case when we talk about teachers. Teachers on duty. It is the same case when we talk about class. class. We are going to say classes on duty. Then we have commander in chief. Commander in chief. This one is the one who leads the army, the top. And the commander in chief in Uganda is our president, is the commander in chief. So, is is leading the army. And what will happen? We are going to say commanders in chief. Commanders in chief. Guest of honor. Guest of honor. We are going to say guests of Honor. Then chief of staff. Chief of staff. It's going to be chiefs of staff. We have very many here. Editor in chief. This person who ed who leads those people who edit newspapers, books, that leader, the head is called editor in chief. So when we are making it for it's going to be editors in chief. So we are going to have very many. I'm going, when I'm setting an activity, I'm going to set it in with different nouns, but the same category. So after looking at those ones made up of three words, we come, for, we come to the common nouns. Now we are saying common nouns that are always counted in plural. They're always counted in plural. Why? 
because they are, they are in pairs. When you're talking about them, you can't mention them in singular because they're always in pairs. For example, we have trousers. We have trousers. Trousers is always in plural. Why? Because they're always two. You have this part of the trouser and then you have another part of the trouser. So when you join them together, they become two. And that will, that will mean pairs of trousers when there are many. When it is one, it is going to be a pair of trousers. A pair of trousers. When there are many now, when they are, they are in different pairs, we are going to say pairs of trousers. We come to the shorts. Even shorts is counted in plural. Why? Because there are always two. When you look at this one here and another short, they become two. And when, you, when they join them together, it becomes a pair. So we say a pair of shorts. Then we say pair of pairs of shorts. Knickers, there are always two. Scissors, there are always two. You can't use one scissor. There are always two. That means when you are cutting, you use a pair of scissors. When there are many, it is pairs of scissors. Socks, these short ones. When it is one, when it is, you cannot put on one. You always put them two. This leg and this leg. That is a pair. So we say pair of Socks. A pair of socks. When there are many, we say pairs of socks. Stockings. Now stockings, these are the long ones you put on you put on your school uniform. Those are the stockings. Now when they are you can't put on one. That means they're always in a pair. We have binoculars. Binoculars, these are th those things you put and then you look very far. You see something very far. They're always in a pairs. You can't use one like this. Because the eyes are two, we put on two. So we say binoculars. A pair of binoculars or pairs of binoculars. We have compasses. This one you use to draw things in your, in your books, to draw the, the, the geometry. That is the compass. It is not one. There are always two. One which points and then this one which will have to draw. That is the compass. It is a pair of compass and then pairs of compasses. Pants. Boys, the ones you put on, eh? they are pants. They are always two. Then you have tongs. These ones which pick. Hmm? You go, you pick meat, you pick what? Tongs. They are always two. It is not one. They are always counted in pairs. Then we have dividers. That one which demarcates. That's that instrument that is always in your set, but it demarcates, it is pointed both sides. When you are making, when you are drawing a line, you measure on your ruler, and then you put in your book, you demarcate, and then you put a line. It is also always used in geometry. So it is also two. They are not always one. They are always two. So we say a pair of pair of dividers. Shoes. Your shoes. It is always a pair. We can't put on one shoe. We always put on two shoes. That means we put on a pair. Then when you come to sandals and many others. When you see that something is counted in two, that means that is a pair. We cannot mention them in singular. When you want to mention them in singular, you say a pair of shoes. A pair of sandals. Yeah. So those, that is what we call common nouns. We have looked at common nouns and said we have very many, we have different categories of nouns. So today we have looked at common nouns and we have completed the common nouns. So we're going to get an activity. You do the activity very well in your books because you have learned and it's going to be a simple one. You do it very well. And then we shall have to see it and I will have to comment on it. Thank you very much. Stay safe.